People have said that my music is Americana, uh, indie rock, folk, post-punk. Um, I don't know what all that really means as far as myself and my songwriting, but uh, I, uh, I feel like what's important is the song, so I let the song decide what it wants to sound like, if that makes sense. Don't worry, mama. I drive for you slowly as this. When I'm coasting on the old familiar ways, why I'm living out the best of all of my days. Yeah, yeah, my mom does like my music. She's like uh, so my biggest fan. Why? She comes to a lot of my shows um, and laughs at my dumb jokes that I tell from the stage louder than anyone because um, she gets it, you know. I inherit a lot of those uh, traits from her. So, and she's always been extremely supportive of my musical endeavors. I'm very lucky. That's why I'm ghosting anyone who gets in a and I won't regret the past or live in the mistakes that I have made. No, I'm gonna live for today, because it's all we've got anyway. I, I, I'm a person that, that feels loneliness um, a lot of the time, whether I'm alone or not. Um, in fact, I think that, you know, when I'm on tour is one of the times where I feel the most connected because it's, you know, it's a real time connection between the song and the listener, you know, and, and sharing in, in the vibrations happening in the room together, you know, and for me that, that, that connection, that immediacy of connection is part of why I love to tour and why I love playing music. Actually, not a lot of people know this, but uh, this is one of the biker bars that they filmed uh, Sons of Anarchy in, the Swedish version of Sons of Anarchy. It's a lot, lot less uh, gun violence and drug running. It's mostly just guys riding motorcycles and drinking beers and being generally cool with each other. I've always wanted to be a uh, musician. I, I always knew that that's what I wanted to do, and I'm, I'm lucky enough to have had the, the foundation to be able to do that. But I always thought that if, I, if the music thing didn't work out, that I would maybe be a teacher or, or maybe a, a postman, a mail carrier, or a pizza delivery guy. I always thought that job was kind of cool. So I'm trying to think if I've ever, ever, Played a show where there was a fruit bowl in the green room in the U.S. No. When all of this is over in some sunlit field of clover, we can gaze into each other's eyes again. But there's trouble on the rise again When all of this has passed and we can finally share a glass and just one cigarette I know I won't forget How lucky we are How lucky we are How lucky we are To be orbiting this star For, for me in, in, in my life, the, the more like shit that I have gone through um, the more deeply I, uh, I turn to things like music and, and, and togetherness, and, you know, 
finding spirituality in, in that. You know? Well, we've got to love each other better than we ever have. At least that much is clear. So why don't we start right now? For how lucky we are How lucky we are How lucky we are To be orbiting this particular star From this particular distance 93 million miles I'm sorry, I don't know what that is in kilometers But I'm letting go of all resistance on this particular day I'm floating away. it's something that's really universal our, our loneliness as human beings especially in this Western culture that is um, that's that's built in such a way where we um, feel very disconnected from each other from from the earth from you know, um, from the things that, that make us human, you know, our imperfections and our, our struggles. And uh, I think that if there's any reason why people feel connected with my music is because of, of that. All these years playing music and they finally got me a Mercedes. I guess I've made it now. Yep. <laughs>